So we've so, got in both in both Adila and Redbeard deciding to go with the obvious choices for a Hydra showdown in the case mm -hmm. of Tech Marine and Plague Champ. I think there's uh there's gonna be a lot of well when I say a lot, I mean more than average, which is more than zero turret play. Oh yes, definitely. I mean it's um, if you've got turret heroes on Hydra, so it's just it's hard to not want to use that. This this is mm -hmm. just a definitive lane map. Yeah. I, I think it'd be interesting. I mean, if, if Adila and Redbeard spawn uh, in positions one and three, that that could be an interesting turret. If they just yeah, the turret showdown, right? <laughs> yeah. Those days, but um, so Torpid went Inquisitor, right? Yes, yes, he did. Hmm. Wonder. Wonder what the Lord General, plans are I think, that. is the most common Imperial Guard choice on this map. But you know, Inquisitor is just lesser seen. It's not. It's not a weak hero at all. Not at all. I, I think a, a well a well used Inquisitor is super nasty. She has such such amazing war gears. Mhm. Mm yeah. I mean, I feel like since her Hammer of the Witches got um and quite justifiably chain nerfed because it used to be insane range that was basically almost visual range, <laughs> and you know it was undodgeable full damage on retreat, like sniping. Um, <laughs> But yeah, like now, now a lot of her strength has been shifted from Hammer of the Witches onto her War Gears, which is uh, which makes her a very interesting hero. Yeah, she's very dynamic with the threats she can both dish out and deal with. So Closer. it looks like uh, looks like we don't have the the turret mirror. They are on opposing sides here. Yeah, and I I, I genuinely feel that uh, the west side is much more favored for turrets than the east side just because there's so many more flanking opportunities and just ignoring the turret and going elsewhere right but it's but only slightly because it is still very incredibly laney right oh definitely i mean and speaking of turret play it looks like we're going to have more than just some tech marine and plague champ turrets already got the multi laser turret going down to dissuade the tech marine from moving forward here, but he's gonna, I mean, he's got green cover, so he can just hang back. It's just going to be a neutral victory point for a while until one of those sides gets the definitive push there. But yeah, I mean, the, the, the turret on this western lane is just really hard to deal with. Yeah, it, it, it holds the choke point so well, it's really, really hard to get up anything that can, can, can actually destroy it. Mm -hmm. um, and, the, and, and you can obviously, you know, you can say obviously you can go around the bridge, but that bridge is such a narrow choke point that it's really difficult to deal with. Not only that, it's a huge waste of time to loop around that long just to assault a turret. Right, it's well I mean it does also lead right into the enemy gen farm, so if you can get an effective push over there, you're going to get some payoff if the turret isn't in a such such a way to watch that gen farm. But True, but at the same time he has the option just to trade gen farms and just like, then, then the situation will reset if he just walks back to his uh, to his turret and protects it from the flank. It's just, a, it's just a tough map to deal with turrets on, simply put. Yeah, definitely. So, noisy, or, uh, noisy, Torpid, Torpid already taking, uh, taking the commanding push down bottom, gets, gets the Tech Marine out of there with the Sentinel, got the decap on that natural power node, and now, uh, now the Tech Marine's got the, take the initiative to get back out on the map here with the double tax. Mm -hmm. And here comes the first Inquisitorial Operative squad. Should be able, it should be interesting to see how it fares against, uh, against the Plague Champion's notorious staying power. Yeah, I mean, he's got a lot of... He's already got all that beef on the field. You know, he went for the quick double chaos, chaos Space Marines. Mm -hmm. And he, now he's just going to rope a dope with the Brother Captain for a while. Those operatives aren't going to be able to get out here in time, at least for this engagement. Although there is a couple weak squads out there. If they get a surprise volley or two off, even maybe on this... Yeah, let's see if he gets this Plague Champion while he might be distracted. Yep, he's going down. Oh my god, look at that. That burst is nuts. Yeah, it's pretty nasty. Definitely I think their rate nasty. of fire is, is pretty high too on top of that uh on top of their shotguns. You know the thing that jumps out at me, um, compared to other shotguns in the game, it doesn't seem to have DPS that drops off with distance. Right, yeah. That, that that's the thing, like, you know, shotgun scouts you need to be right up in their face to do decent damage, whereas these guys seem to do perhaps Yeah, they full seem to have full, range. almost full range with those shotguns. Mm -hmm. Full, full standard it's, range. It's intimidating, for sure. And uh, and the fact they can be infiltrated. I mean, it, it, it means that they can get right up close and personal and start doing DPS and just, like, catch them on retreat. Like, almost like a melee squad, right? Exactly, right. But, I, to be honest, I think uh, 
it's very interesting to see the builds that these players have gone for. Torp has gone for Rosarius. I, I don't remember the last time I saw Rosarius on Inquisitor. Pretty much um, say, like, you know, it's it's a way to deal with the insane amount of DPS that Adil is dropping. That's Sentinel! It's fine. 8 HP. It's fine. It's got to keep rolling. Those, those operatives are looking for the kill. Yeah, I mean, I, I, Rosarius, I think, is uh, is a good adjustment considering how much range DPS is coming out. But the Heavy Bolter Dev is a, is a good choice. If, if only for Adila that he hadn't lost the gen farm, I mean, you know, the, the power point. It Here been comes the artillery position. spotter, yeah. As, as, as a Tech Marine player, I can tell you that artillery spotter is a headache. Mm hmm for sure. I so feel he, both, like, he went for the Dev first instead of the fast turret, which I think is probably a good idea. Yeah, totally agree. I feel though that like uh, these raptors are hugely committal. Like this build coming from uh, Chaos is got insane upkeep. Uh, the raptors. No, he, he he definitely needs to get something mm -hmm. out of the, now. Like you said, it's committal now. So if if he can't convert this heavy beefy tier one into some kills and into a gen bash or two, then he's gonna be on the back foot going forward. Yeah, exactly. And Raptor's getting very low now. He can't really stay here much longer. Uh, One model goes model. down. They might lose a second if they're not careful here. Nope, they're going to be just the one. Still, though, like, I'm not 100% sure they, they got enough value to justify their purchase and coming out to the field. And you got to get gens now. Like. Yeah, I mean, the, the good thing is they did break the line. They did allow the rest of the army to push forward without almost any loss here. So they will at least be able to knock out this single gen here. But what they really need to do is go ahead and continue to push over to the other side and get those generators as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the thing. Like the, Their reward in reality is a model of strikes and really getting that one gen in this node. It's, you're, you're, if this was on the other side and getting that gen farm, suddenly that'd be easily worth it, right? Yeah, I mean, he doesn't have his plague champion up right now. Like, if he had the bile spewer right now and he could have snuck over to that open gen farm, and maybe tagged another generator or two, that probably would have been much more payoff, but unfortunately he lost that early. Doesn't have Noise Marines out here as well, because he went for the Raptors instead. But uh, they, they are headed into Tier 2, a little ahead of their opponents, so they might be able to get something out of this. All their gens are up, so they should have should have the opportunity to get something Tier 2 out here quick. But uh, looks like the Grey Knights are going to pressure Redbeard's farm, and at least at least take out a generator, probably. Yeah, and they're, they're over sitting now, though. The best part of it for them is, though, is they can just infiltrate and just walk away. Yep, yep. Oh, actually lost a couple models there. Didn't yeah, quite infiltrate it, it, in time. That was that was pretty key right there. Yeah, I, I don't think I don't think uh, Crewfinity is anywhere near close enough to tier two to justi have justified this build, though. Like, Redbeard, even though he went for this super heavy tier 1, has somehow gotten to tier 2 before anyone else. Yeah, I mean, this Blood Crusher's gonna come out and really hurt some feelings shortly. That That's some, that's a really good use of We Are The Hammer. Oh just... man, look at this play Cloud. Is it gonna tag all both of these squads? One... Oh, he got both! That was brutal. I don't. I, I don't. I don't think I would have retreated there. He had enough boost speed to kite it forever. No, it's funny because if you if you if you had seen how it was placed, Redbeard actually pulled it back prematurely and allowed the operatives to move forward. Or sorry, yeah, the stormtroopers to move forward, and they should have just kept moving forward. But as but, soon as they retreated, that they, they sealed their own doom right there. But the thing is, they had we had the hammer on them, so they, they were actually faster than the move speed of the. You know the cloud. I mean, right? How yeah. You catch something with, which is slower than. Like, you know, if you're slower than it. He just retreated into it when he didn't need to. Exactly, yeah. He, he would have been fine if he would have just kept pushing forward instead of kind of... And it was weird. It wasn't even like a panic retreat. Like, he moved out of the range of the cloud, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then he retreated. At, it was it was odd. It was just kind of... I'm not sure what the plan was there, but it was an, it was a big oops, and it cost him a couple squads. Mm -hmm. As it's, it stands, you can see uh, Adila's still struggling to fight it out of his base. Hasn't managed to get his gen farm up all the way yet. Uh, and it looks like the Blood Crusher is going to negate this contested node that the Reds have been holding here for a while, which has kept them in the tech race at least. At least they had those two gens on the western side to, to keep them in this game. But even so, like, that's... Crew, crew lost a couple squads right now, and this Blood Crusher is going to remain unanswered for the foreseeable future. 
Yeah, I mean, I think the, the main thing is that Redbeard and Torpid right now have just a very, very strong edge and somehow Krufinity and Zilla have to delay the game. And bleeding models like that on the east side is not the way to go. Yeah, that was that was unnecessary. Even even if he had gotten that decap, that... Like, it, it, this is another situation, I feel like, of where... We're seeing we're seeing Adila fight for nothing right now, right? Like he's out mm -hmm. here, he's trying to do what he can, he's trying to hold against this, but to what end? Like yeah, may exactly. as well go over to the Grey Knight side and try to help out your allies and hold what you do have. Instead now they're losing their last gen farm. Well part of the problem is that um Adila's gone for this ultra turtle build with double tax and be bolted there. That doesn't get much more turtley than that for Space Marine and now down goes the scouts, which are really unfortunate which is really unfortunate, but in reality, Torp has completely crushed this side now, and it's, uh... It's, I, don't, I don't see a way back unless they somehow really just turtle up for ages, but... With 260, B, uh, 260 BPs left, and a 3 cap against them, it's not pretty. Oh, he needs to be targeting. He, the, the last Rhino has missed two of its last shots. Oh, now it misses three. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really, really hard to micro that well when you're just pressed up against your own base. Yeah, it's it's difficult because it wants to keep targeting the infantry. Which seems strange, but not well. <laughs> At the same time, it, may, it might do a lap of the Hydra's Chasm as well, though, so... Yeah, I mean, we've seen it before. It's got the speed that it should be able to keep kiting. If only it was hit actually the hitting the correct target. Yeah. Well, I mean, Oh no, it stopped! He the wanted to make sure he got that shot. It's a lot better against the Crusher than the Chimera. The Chimera's worse, so... He is gonna get the Crusher. It's 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 a fine trade, though, for the, the for Redbeard and Torpid. They don't really care. Yeah, I mean, at this stage in the game, oh, the Ogrins are behind it, too. Down it goes! Yeah, Crushed. Pretty, pretty nasty. But even if it didn't go down, like, it's, it's not a capping unit. They can just wind down VPs and just hold out this game forever. Oof. Those upgraded Raptors made short work of that brother captain. Yeah, that's unusual, isn't it? But, um... I, I think Torp has done an incredibly good job to actually just crush Adila off the map. Like, it, he... You know, Adila's space screens are not bad by any stretch of the imagination. And down goes Ooh, this man. I think yeah. so, yeah. Another, another nice play cloud right there. Securing that kill. It's definitely a good map for play clouds. Definitely a very good map to play, God. Unbelievably predictable retreat paths. Right, exactly. Now the Inquisitor upgraded with her insane Inferno pistol. That thing is so brutal. Yeah, I can't I can't wait to see her use uh, Judgment, but sadly <laughs> not this game. Nope, this game is done for. Yeah, so I, let's I, I, see. to be honest, fair play to. Well, actually, I think I think both Torpid and Redbeard did very well there, genuinely. But oh yes, definitely. It, it's it's a map that favors uh, 